I've been teaching entrepreneurs how to get clients for 10 years. And in the last five years, I've been uh, really focusing on authentic methods of getting new clients. And I have updated my online course on how to get new clients authentically using, you know, using enrollment methods that feel more aligned with higher values. And in this video, I want to tell you about this upcoming course in case you're interested in it. So this course is for any of you who say, you know, I would love to have a structure and a system for taking consistent action that leads to getting new clients. But usually when I learn these systems, they don't feel aligned with me. I don't feel uh, really excited about using these strategies that feel salesy. And so therefore you don't take consistent action. So that's really the, the main problem that people have with not being able to fill their client roster, right? So that's what I developed this course to, to really try to solve for all of you. And um, so let me kind of walk you through the structure of the course. You can kind of understand what you're gonna be learning. Uh, the first part of the course that we're going to do is really to liberate your mindset about how do we authentically sell. Because here's the thing, no matter how clear your message of your business is, and this, this course that I'm going to be teaching is not, a mess, it's, not a mess, it's not a course about clarifying your message. I have another course about clarifying your marketing message and your offerings and things like that. So that's, that's there. But once you... Whether or not you have a clear marketing message, the thing is clients won't magically find you. Have you noticed that? Just because you have a website, you might even have a really nice looking website that's really well written and really well designed, but do you have any clients? No. Clients don't just find you because you have a great website or just because you have a Facebook page or just because you're on Instagram doesn't mean that clients will automatically say, hey, I want to work with you. You're amazing or just because you upload YouTube videos. Sometimes you get lucky and one of these methods will happen. But really, to get clients means that you need to do some consistent outreach, otherwise you don't get clients. Even I have to do consistent outreach. Well, so let me tell you how I do consistent outreach, okay? Here are the five methods. So actually, I was gonna say, the first part of the course is about liberating your mindset about how to consistently sell because selling is not pleasant for anybody to do. But if we change our frame of mind from, I'm trying to get you to do something, if, if I'm trying to get you to do something that you don't want to do, it's not pleasant for you and it's not pleasant for me, right? But if I get into the mindset that I'm here to try to help you, whether or not you're buying from me. See, that's, that's where most people trip up. They're like, well, I have to persuade you to buy from me. Well, that's not a pleasant experience for anybody, and it's not, it's not how we need to do it, okay? But if I say, I'm just gonna help you, whether you buy from me or buy from somebody else, that's a better fit for you, or whether you don't buy anything and you just try to figure out on your own, I'm here to try to help you, okay? And when you have that kind of mindset, everything changes, and you start to be service oriented and people start to really like you because you're just relaxed and trying to be helpful to people. Okay. So that's really the mindset for all of this. Now having that mindset also doesn't mean you're going to automatically get clients because a lot of you watching this are givers and you're just out there all day giving to people and you don't have any money. You don't have any clients, right? So it's, it's not just about the mindset. It's also about the mindset plus the actions that lead to clients. Okay, so here are the five things I'm gonna teach you in the course. I'll just kind of run through, run, through them, run through them briefly. If you're interested, then you can take the course. You'll get the resource document. You'll have the in-depth explanations and the teachings and the Q&A and um, the, the camaraderie and the support from your mutual students that you're gonna work with to take actions. Okay, so here are the five things. One is, niche bait referrals. So let me explain what this means. Right now, the people who would be perfect clients for you are already using the services of multiple other businesses, right? Of course, everybody to live in the society, we buy things, right? And so your clients right now, your ideal clients, your potential clients, right now they're already spending money elsewhere on other businesses, okay? Now, some of those other businesses are ideal 
for for working with you okay as a partnership as a collaboration so if you were to do the work of figuring out okay my ideal clients what other businesses are they already using okay and how do i connect with those businesses in a really genuine value based way if you can figure that out you'll have referral partners okay and unlimited referral partners so we're going to talk about that in the course that's the first thing we're going to talk about in terms of the methods the second thing we'll talk about um, is consistent content now i talk about this often in my videos already but i'm going to talk about that in the context of getting clients just because you create consistent content doesn't mean that you'll have clients come to you okay some of you have been blogging for years and you have no clients or doing making videos for years and you have no clients well it's because you're not really connecting your content to your offerings right and and well, either you're not consistent with it right or you're not connecting your offering your content to your offering so we'll talk about that as the second strategy the third strategy that we'll talk about and I have to review my notes uh, because I don't have to memorize my course it's all written down um, the third strategy we're going to talk about are mini launches, mini, M-I-N-I, -I, gentle launches. Usually, so what is a launch? A launch is a concerted effort over a period of weeks or months to let people know what about your services, okay? Now, the, one of the challenges, of one of the problems that a lot of you are facing is that you don't do any launches at all. You just expect that somehow God will provide you clients just by being a good person. And what God is saying is, yes, be a good person, and you got to do outreach, the right kind of outreach to get clients, right? So God says, trust me, but tie your camel, right? That's the famous, famous line. Um, so that's that's what we're that's what we need to do. So so mini launches are so a launch is a concerted effort to let people know about your services. But usually launches are filled with stress and risk and embarrassment and pushiness and salesiness, and none of us like to do launches, okay? But what if instead you thought of a launch as you are creating this party that you really enjoy and inviting the people that you would really enjoy being with at this party? That's it. It's no big deal. I mean, yes, the party is fun and you do some planning around it, but it's not like, oh my God, if the party doesn't work, my life is over or I'm not going to have money for the rest of my life. No, it's just so, so many launches are really gentle ways to invite your audience to play with you. That's what a mini launch is, and that's what we're going to talk about. And I'm going to give you several structures of the mini launches. You can choose which ones you want. And that's really the kind of the way I've framed the course is that you're going to find some way inside the course that feels right for you. And you'll also figure out how to structure that method so that it really matches your energy and your personality. And that's really the, the point of the course is to, is to learn these different methods, to learn how to choose on them, uh, choose among them and learn how to customize it for yourself. That's what I'm really looking forward to. So the fourth strategy is the tapering strategy. So what is the tapering strategy? This is basically, here's the thing. If you were to do more work with clients, you would get better and better at doing your, the thing that you're, you're here in the world to do, your, your, your skill. You would get more skillful at it. But the problem is you're not doing enough client work. And you say, well, George, of course I'm not doing enough client work because I'm not getting enough paying clients. Well, let's reframe this a little bit here. You are keeping yourself from doing client work because you've you've got you probably have people who would love to do your work right who would love to work with you maybe they don't want to pay you the money that that you want to charge them why why don't they want to pay you the money oh because they don't have enough money let me give you a secret it's almost always not the case that the person doesn't have enough money they will tell you they can't afford it but that's a code word. Did, did anyone teach us to you yet? When they say they can't afford it, it's a code word. And the code word, let me tell you the actual meaning that they have in their mind. It's saying, oh, I don't really understand and value your service enough to pay you the money that I actually do have. Okay, because I'm, 
I had the money. I mean, I, I have, I have a, a roof over my head. I, I'm able to buy food. I'm probably buying organic food, okay? And I'm probably buying coffee and probably buying this and I'm probably buying that other thing because I value those things. They're not necessarily... If I, if I really were only living in a shack and have rice and beans to eat and that's all I have left, that's no, almost nobody is like that who is, who is thinking of working with you. Anybody who is thinking of working with you has more than rice and beans, has more than a shack over their head, and they're probably buying organic food, they're probably buying Netflix, they're probably buying coffee, they're probably buying whatever it is they're buying because they value those things more than your service. That's the truth. So not that you have to explain why your thing is better than Netflix or better than the coffee they're buying every day or buying better than the shopping that they do to buy that extra, you know, an extra dress or whatever it is, whatever it is they're already spending money on or, or, or some therapy they're using or some retreats they're going to or whatever. You, you're spending money. People are spending money on lots of things that they value more than the, the work with you. If only they knew that the work with you would change their life more than, than whatever else they were spending money on. Okay. So here's how you help them to understand that. You use the tapering strategy, which is basically you open up. What I want you to have is I want you to have a full slate of clients, right? Full slate of clients, whether or not they're paying you. You heard me right. Even if you're working for free, but George, I've already worked for so much for free all my life. No, no, no. You haven't worked for free all your life doing this exact service that you're doing, that you're offering us for, for, for payment. And you're also not doing this. You're also not, if you were working for free using your service, you're not getting feedback and you're not getting testimonials, right? Am I right on this? So if you have a full slate of clients, even if they're all free, now it's, that's not going to be the case. But let's just be extreme here and say you had a full slate of clients and none of them is paying you any money, but they're all saying, yes, I agree to provide you thoughtful feedback or if I like it, I'll provide you testimonials. Then guess what's going to happen? You're going to have a full slate of either feedback or ambassadors for your service. People will say, my God, now I finally get why it's useful to work with you. I never, I never, I was a friend, okay? And I was always being polite with you and I was always saying, oh yeah, that sounds really good. I think what you do sounds great, but I never really believed it until I did your work, the work with you. Does that make sense? So the tapering strategy is basically tapering so that you at first have some more free or low fee clients who give you feedback and testimonials and then Eventually, gradually, gradually, as you get more and more ambassadors and people raving about what you do, you get more and more full fee clients, people, pulling, people paying you your full fee, and then you have less and less of the free or low fee clients. So the tapering strategy, I'll describe it more and the nuances of it inside the course and a structure for how you actually go out, go about doing this. So I look forward to seeing what you think of that. And then finally, authentic webinars. We'll talk about that in the course as well. Authentic webinars is the opposite of most free webinars. Most free webinars are basically carefully designed sales pitches that don't tell you their sales pitches. So at the very least, when I started this video, I told you this is gonna be a sales pitch. I was very clear with you, like, hey, in this video, I'm going to try to sell you on this course that I'm gonna be doing, if it's a right fit for you, obviously. That's why I'm gonna tell you about the course and see if it's the right fit for you. Most webinars are like, in this webinar, you're going to learn this amazing, wonderful thing. And they don't even tell you that they're going to try to sell you on things. And then you go to the webinar, and it's a bait and switch. And the bait and switch is what loses the reputation of so many people. So many businesses, so many marketers lose their reputation because of the bait and switch they're doing all day long. You're doing, they're doing bait and switch. You think you're going to get this free, wonderful thing, but it's really a carefully designed sales pitch, right? So. Oh, an authentic webinar is where you are actually charging for the webinar, except that it is free for the people who attend live. So it, it, what's, what happens, therefore, is that you get people attending live who are going to get value from you, okay? And they're actually consuming your webinar and getting value from you, 
And then you do a very gentle mention of your services at the end. 5% of the webinar is talking about your services. So I'm going to teach you the, the structure of the authentic webinar in, inside the course. And anyway, so you could see these five strategies could be, could be five different courses. But I'm going to just put them into one course, and then you can decide which of these five. Or maybe you'll decide to use all five. But you, at least you'll, you'll experiment with probably several of these strategies um, as a result of learning these things. And then you ha you'll have students to, to kind of find mutual support with and to trade notes and to find collaborations and to find some accountability as you, as you implement the course. So anyway, I don't know if this sounds interesting to you. If it does, if you need new clients and you don't wanna, you're tired of learning from marketers who are always bait and switch with you and are always teaching you things that you really don't want to do and you'd rather learn it from me, then this is the course that you wanna learn from how to get clients basically, how to finally have enough money uh, to, to in your business. So I hope this is helpful. I hope this is interesting for you. If you have any questions about the course, please let me know in the comments below. And um, I look forward to, uh, to seeing what questions and comments you have. And thank you, Senta, for your comments here. Um, so Senta says, you know, I have almost 2,000 personal Facebook friends. When I, asked, when I asked for their input about a possible business page, what would interest them? Only a few people have responded. Well, Senta, inside the course, we're going to look at how you're asking because maybe there's a different way that you could ask that would get even more responsiveness. So we'll, we'll, we'll talk about that inside the course because uh, I'm not able to, you know, we don't have time right now to, to actually look at it. So um, you don't need a website, okay? And that's, that's, thank you for mentioning that. You don't need to have a website to get a full client load. And that's one of the secrets of, you know, authentic marketing is that you don't need a Facebook page. You don't need a Facebook business page. You don't need a website. All you need is you and your, your willingness to connect with other people. And you can connect with other people through email, through a Facebook private message, through a LinkedIn message, through Instagram direct message, through lots of different ways. You don't need a website. You don't. Um, I have clients who are filling courses by posting something on their Facebook personal profile without any single link to a website. So even if you don't have a website, I really look forward to seeing you fill your client roster without a website. <laughs> if you have a website, that's nice. But the problem about a website is that it's often not well designed. And sometimes a website actually turns people off rather than turn people on. So it's like you would rather have a well-designed website or no website at all. That's actually, I think, better. <laughs> so, uh, you know, unless you are marketing, if you if you do marketing, if you do social media, it's weird not to have a website. Like, I, it would be weird for me not to have a website because I teach marketing. People expect a marketer should have a website. But if you don't teach marketing, if you don't teach business, you might not need a website at all to have a full client load. So, um, I look forward to seeing uh, if that helps. You don't need a business name. You just need your name sent to, sent to Teresa. So that's the other thing. Uh, you don't need a business name. You don't need a, a website. You don't need a logo. You don't need a tagline. You don't need anything other than what you already do for people, which is what you already do. So this is one of the things that I think trips so many people up and makes them delay for so long before they have a business, before they have full-time income. Is like, oh, I need this first, and I need that. No, you don't need any of that. What you need is a strategy that you believe in for reaching out to people who need what you have. Because the truth is, there are people out there who are suffering without your services. If, if that's true, and now maybe you don't believe that's true and then, then we need to work on that. But if you do actually understand and believe that there are people out there who are suffering without your, without your services, then you can have a full-time business. That's, that's the bottom line. You don't need a website for that. They just need to know do, do they need to know that you are a great website designer? And that's not what they need to know. They need to know that you can help them, right? They need to believe that. If they believe that, then they'll go, okay, well, how much do I need to pay you? How do I get started? That's what you need, okay? So I hope this helps, and um, I look forward to seeing any of you who are interested in, in this journey with me, and um, I look forward to seeing how it benefits you. All right, okay, I'll see you inside the course, or I'll see you in the next video. Take care.